back to another Christmas, uh, setting the Christmas mood today. So who tried the mincemeat and then the mincemeat crumble cake? Um, I did see my mum did one, so that was lovely. It's really, really nice. And uh, I think Anna was going to try one with my neighbours, so I will uh, check out how she got on. So today, let me see if I can make sure I can see everyone's comments. I can see someone's joined us. Hi, Glenis Hayden. Right, just let me close that down. Hi, lovely. So today we're going to make Christmas chocolate truffles, and I'm be be excited about it because this could go really horribly wrong. I mean, working with chocolate is probably a bit like working with technology and children, to be honest, isn't it? But hey, who cares? I've got my lovely Thermomix. I've already programmed in what we're doing today in the Christmas trouble, so I'm just going to dive straight in. So as you may already know, what we've got here is um, already programmed in. I go into my week and um, bring up chocolate truffles and I'm going to start cooking. So here we go, start the cooking. Um, and it's asking me, this is an interesting, what this is, look, is this is, hi mum, how you doing? Um, this is an American recipe, so it's automatically changed the scales from me measuring in um, metric, changed it to imperial for you, so you don't have to worry. So I'm just going to tear that. And it's first asking me is for 14 ounce of dark chocolate chips or broken up chocolate. So I've got a whole mixture here. I've done 50 50, I've done dark chocolate, it's a 75% one, and milk chocolate. Just because I'm not a huge dark chocolate fan, so I um, just do a little mix so it's not quite so bitter. Um, obviously, some of these will hopefully make it out as gifts, but I can't guarantee. <laughs> So where have we got? 7.7, 7, here we go. So there's 12, um, oh, just gone over 14, so let's take a couple out there. There we go, exactly 14 ounces. So let's press next, and it's asking me to put the lid on and with the measuring cup in. So press next again, and now it's going to uh, grind all that for 10 seconds. So it's telling me to put it up to 8, it's going to be a bit longer. <laughs> show you first how the Thermomix deals with chocolate and this is leading up to you know on Wednesday evening I'm doing a hot chocolate spiked hot chocolate for grown-ups approved by Lapland but look at that look at that just totally grated up it's so lovely even a little bit of warmth has already come into that so that chocolate is already softening in there so I'm just going to scrape down that side like that. And right, it's now telling me add eight ounces of heavy whipping cream. Well, I use a lactose-free uh, cream. This is a really good thick cream um, for whipping or double cream or cooking. So I'm just going to whack that in there. So what's that, four ounces? Typical, a tumble dryer still on in the background. You know, Nigella never has to work under these constraints, especially I'm going to complain to my agent, I think. <laughs> Mr. Data! <laughs> right, here we go. What have we got? Seven, seven and a half, seven point nine, eight, ooh, that last ounce, that took a bit of going, and um, eight ounces. There we go. So, oops, before I get to there. Right, so it's now saying two teaspoons of espresso powder, optional. So um, if you wanted to, espresso powder, coffee granules, if you're going to use it. So what I would suggest is put some of your instant coffee in your machine beforehand and just grind it up to a fine powder. I'm not going to be putting coffee um, in here because um, I'm just not going to put enough coffee in my chocolate. So I'm going to press next. But again, the great thing about the cookie do is, and this particular sous, sous chef, it's not going to get cross with you if you just adapt the menu uh, recipe slightly. So don't be afraid of 
experimenting and using it how you you uh, to your taste it will be fine right next now it's going to cook that on 120 degrees Fahrenheit so have a quick look on here about that that's probably about 100 degrees isn't it even less actually about 80 um, and it's on two there so let me tell you what we've got going on for Christmas while that's cooking so like when you Taking my tiara off look and I thought I'd go a little bit festive with my little father Christmases and my jingly bells. So what we have uh, for Christmas, we've got the TM6 bundle, which is the TM6, with, I keep going on about these fantastic thermal servers, they're insulated and they come with a silicon lid. This is in the, from Australia, this one, but the UK one is a flat head. They're brilliant bundles. They're great if um, you've only got one machine and you're making bread. You can pop it in here for proving so you can free up your machine. They will freeze, they will go in the oven, and then they'll go straight on the table. I normally particularly use mine for uh, serving up salads um, um, or big bowl. I've got a really big one which I use for soup. But the December bundle is a TM6 with a thermi server um, I think there's the Christmas book and the Christmas apron as well now the TM6 on his own is 1149 there's three different payment options for that um, one, two or three years or you can buy it outright if you use a finance option it's um, done by a bank that's owned by IKEA called Icano and the um, interest rate's about 9.9 .9. So for as little as on a three year plan, you can get it for about 35 quid. So that's the standard bundle. The Christmas bundle is the TM6 plus the thermos server plus the Christmas apron and the Christmas book. Now bear in mind these retail at about 45, 50 quid. It's only 20 quid extra at 1,169. Again, they come over one, two, three year finance packages if you'd like to do that or you could buy it outright. Again, the um, RPR, the interest rate's about 1.9, so really good. That works out, that's 37 pounds a month. You could have one of these babies in before Christmas. Right, let's press next. Right, what it's asking me to do now is transfer to a bowl and allow it to chill for at least 20 minutes. And it's quite an important step, this, because obviously you would not be able to work with this chocolate. Look at that. Do you see that? Is it pouring in there? You wouldn't be able to work with that chocolate like that. So what I'm going to do is I'll get all that out. There we go. Get it all out. We don't want to waste any. I am really trying to stop myself not just licking the whole lot, which would be disgusting <laughs> for anybody else who was going to eat these chocolate truffles, but obviously I'm not going to do that. Right, so I'm just going to give that a bit more. Oh, no chat. Mm. Oh, delicious. I mean, chocolate. Who doesn't love it? Obviously, as part of a balanced diet <laughs> in proportion. Will be. So there we go, look. It's mixed it all up. Now, what it's saying is put that in the fridge for 20 minutes to cool down. So I'll go do that. And, sha -la 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 -la, in true Blue Peter style, here's a little bowl I made earlier. <laughs> Call me Anthea. <laughs> um, yeah, it's so a nice and cold. So let's see what it says. Now wash and dry your mixing bowl so you can do part two. Well, for the, again, for the benefit of Facebook live production, here's a clean bowl I've got for today. Now, it says next. So once the chocolate is set, scoop out balls of chocolate, approximately one teaspoon each, um, about 0.5 ounces. So I've got a and place, gently roll into the board and place on a parchment. So here we have a little bowl. Now here's a little handy tip. What I've got is I've got a small little scooper. Now I've got that size. It's saying what, a tablespoon. 
I'm thinking that might be a bit too big, so I'm going to go for this one. But a really handy tip to have, if I can remember what I was going to do myself, is because you need to be working with really, really cold, keep it sharp. I am just going to get a jug of ice water. So what I could do is I can keep this really nice and cold. Hi Christine, you've just joined at the messy bit. So I'm, I'm just cooling down my little scooper here, right, and then we're going to dive in. So as I said, this could be the bit where it gets messy. So here we go. Right, is it going to work? Let me find it. I knew I should have tried this bit over that. I thought, oh no, do you know what? I am absolutely going to wing it. Right, so let's put that on there. Ta da! Nearly, nearly a bowl shape. So the other thing I'm going to do is actually, um, which would be a really good idea for me, I'm actually going to, while I'm working, I am just going to put it onto a bowl of ice as well. And I'm going to it extra cold. So hopefully I have a nice there. So I've just put a bowl of ice there, look. And I'm going to put this on there to keep it cool. Right. And here we go, look. Um, there we go. I might just, uh, just put that back in there. I might try. I think that would be too big. Let me try this one. I think this would be too big, but it is about. Here we go. Get it. Get your utensils nice and cold. Right. There we go. Again, using your. Um, another good tip that one of my um, colleagues recommended, which I haven't listened to, as you can see, is maybe use some latex gloves. But here we go. Look, this one's got a. There we go. Ta da Marvellous. And it's keeping it cold on this bed of ice. So I'm just going to, there we go, put that back on there. Pack it in nicely. Yeah, this one definitely works better because it's got the scoop it out look. So there we go. There we go. That's better. Hey. <laughs> Who knew I was a chocolatier as well? Honestly, there is absolutely no end to my talents. And my modesty is outstanding too. <laughs> hey, Christine, I've got a treat for Friday afternoon. I've got a new recipe for mulled wine. Again, it's a thermy one, so I'll be trialling that out on Friday. It's called apple white mulled wine, and it's made with white wine. And it's got apple in it, so one of our five a day. So out walking the dogs and having apple mulled wine, we're positively healthy really, aren't we? <laughs> Here we go, look. So this is actually a really good, so if you get one of the little mini scoops with the uh, um, scooper outer, I forget what that's called, it's definitely got an official name, you're going to get some really lovely, there we go. Just uh, gonna have to work a bit faster, just because that chocolate. Ooh, that's a bit of an odd shaped one. Ah, now this is much better. Where it's sitting on the ice, it is actually forming better shape. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. That could be a gift one. That one. I did a summer when I was a young girl in a Thornton's chocolate factory. And on the factory line, what we used to have to do was remove any misshapen ones. And they, they used to get bagged up and sold on. Not on my production line, they didn't. Every single one. Oh. And you were allowed to eat as many as you could. I think I lasted in that job one weekend. I was so ill from so much chocolate. But I think I'm going to have to apply the same quality assurance standard on my own chocolate production line here. Any misshapen ones, 
I'm probably going to have to reject. <laughs> uh, maybe not many is going to make it to gift sets, are they, at this rate? Right, here we go. Yeah, it is a fantastic idea, isn't it, lovely? I can't wait to give that a go. Right, what are we doing? Now, just so you know, what I have done for the benefit of live um, TV or Facebook, I this portion that I made earlier, I actually halved it. So you can halve the recipe if you were just doing it for yourselves, and it seems to work fine. Literally, quite literally, just halve the ingredient quantities. So if you don't want so much. And again, that's the great flexibility with the Cookie Do platform is have a read up front, see what the recipe is all about, work out whether you want to have that much or not, and if you don't, halve it. Also, just work out maybe your cooking times. In this instance, there isn't really any cooking times, is there? There's just um, the melting and the tempting of something of chocolate. There we go. My last one. So there we go. Right, oh, that's not quite so brilliant, fantastic. Not too much mess either. Myself. Right, so while I think what I'm going to do while I do the next step, I'm going to put that back in because I know what's coming up. I'm going to put it back in the fridge just to let them cool down or keep cool while I'll do the next step. So let's go. So I've done that. Uh, done the scoops, gently rolled into balls and placed onto parchment paper. So a little handy tip, the little, um, a little miniature um, ice cream scoop or, or a melon ball uh, maker would probably be a really good idea, minimises the uh, mess. Right, so next it's saying place 10 ounces of dark chocolate. So again, as I said, I have got a mixture of light and dark chocolate, so 10 ounces. There we go, six, and again, if I wanted to, I could actually um, reduce this, there we go, uh, if I needed to, in fact, actually, I'm going to put all that in, because there's only a little bit there, right, next, insert the measuring cup, and again, next again, and now it's going to grind that up for 10 Tell me to scrape down the sides. I'll reuse my spatula from earlier. Oops. Again, look at that. Oh, so as I was saying to you, when I make the hot chocolate later in the week, the reason why this is approved by Lapland and Father Christmas is because it's not instant chocolate. Look, it is. Look at that. What about tipping a little Bailey's into that recipe? Rum whiskey. So. If you want to do that, that is absolutely a really good idea, Mum. And actually on Cookie Do, there is a brandy version, okay? But when you're making the mixture, just use your base. So eight ounces of cream, what I would probably do is probably put an ounce of the alcohol and then seven ounces of cream. But bear in mind, when you use alcohol, it will take longer than 20 minutes for your chocolate to set. So just allow a little bit longer. Okay? So, brilliant idea. And I think I may do a rerun with some alcoholic ones, but I'm making these children friendly. Right, so it's asking me after scraping down the side, put the lid back on. There's a bit of chocolate there. I'm just going to help myself to it. Next, and it's going to cook that. So what does that say? Right, yep, yeah, put it on one and it's going to cook that for two and a half minutes. So, yeah, on Cookie Do, there is other. There's an assorted uh, truffle uh, truffle recipe, and I think what it does there is it makes chocolate base, and then you can separate out your chocolate, add different um, alcohol versions. But again, remember, alcohol will make make your chocolate take longer to set, so just allow that for a bit longer. And uh, so handy tips as well as having your little melon ball maker, probably um, if you don't like. Uh, use some latex gloves and also when working with chocolate the melted chocolate which is actually your truffle part 
keep that on a bowl of ice when you get it out of the fridge and what you find is just so much easier to, to work with that chocolate. Um, so other handy tips um, that I've got, you see, I haven't actually got many for chocolate making because I've never done it before if I'm really honest, but um, I think the other, oh yeah, so the other one that, that someone was saying to me today, you can also, so the next stage I'm making the coating for the chocolate, I'm just doing really plain chocolate ones, but again, you could make up any different kind of coating, so grind up some, we grind up some um, cocoa, add some nuts and grind that up or um, any chocolate any sweet uh, treats just grind it up till it's quite fine and then you can dust your truffles with that as well so this is just a really bog standard um, recipe that i'm showing you today it's really easy and it will make a fantastic gift gift to anybody or just for yourself um, but you can use this bait this recipe as the basis to actually add and um, improve in any way that you like or alternatively you can just search on cookie do and there's lots of different ones and when I'm doing these demos I try and find the most efficient time wise just so I'm not keeping everybody on Facebook for an hour at a time um, I have got a few slots left for December for online demos if anybody would like one so please do give me a shout. There is still the offer on for anybody who hosts with friends that you will receive a baking mat so they're about 30 quid so uh, give me a call I could set up one of those for you and again I do all the work you just work with me to choose what menu you would like to see. If you are local to Andorn I can actually normally bring things over to you as well after the demo. Because Christine is normally the receiver of half the demonstration stuff that I make. <laughs> poor, poor Christine. <laughs> right, next. What's it saying? Transfer to a bowl and set aside. Here we go. So again, look at that lovely, lovely melted chocolate there. Oof. It's on the outside as well. Mm. I know I'm not supposed to lick my fingers during cooking. Don't tell me off, Mother. <laughs> Here we go then. Um, I'm just going to get all this out now. So this is basically just melted chocolate. But here again, in this melted chocolate part, because it's going to be a coating, you could actually have added anything in there at this point again. You could have added um, hundreds and thousands. It's not very truffly, is it? But kids would love it. Or pistachios. You could actually make something like, um, for the actual truffle itself, what would be a really good idea, when you grind the chocolate, is also maybe do a bit of fruit peel, orange, I would say, and then have a chocolate orange one. In fact, actually, that would be a really good idea. In fact, even better, you could use chocolate orange chocolate. Would be absolutely stunning. So press next, and it's saying, Right, so what it's telling me to do now, I'm putting this back on, and again, this just shows you how all-in-one this machine is, right? It's telling me to put this back on top and place a bowl on top. And what I'm going to do now, press next, it's asking me to weigh out two ounces of cocoa powder. So you see how I'm using the whole machine? Don't have to go anywhere else or any other appliance in the kitchen. Um, I don't need to look out for, have any other weighing scales here, I'm just going to use, right, there we go, I've got one and a half ounces in that, which will be enough for now, because I do have that small, so press next, and then right, set that aside, excuse me, eating chocolate does make you thirsty, oh. right, set that aside, now, press next, I'm just going to get my balls back out, here we go. Some are more ball like than others. Can you see that look? And look, they've set, so that's great. Now, this is the artistic part. Well, not a, again, you're going to have to work really fast during this stage, okay? So, what it's saying is dip the chocolate balls into the reserve melted chocolate with a fork and gently shake off excess place it back on the parchment and leave it for about five seconds well i'm going to try it with a chocolate with a toothpick so i'm just gonna oh 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 no there we go 
Wow. Oh no. There we go. Yeah. Ooh. This is might be where you would like to have your gloves on. So set that back in there. Mmm. That is very, very messy. Mmm. It doesn't work at all. So what I am going to do, I'm going to bow down to the best of knowledge of cookie do and use a fork. Gives it a bit more leverage. So here we go, look. That's it. There we go. Ah, better. So yeah, use a fork, not a toothpick. There we go. And just put that back on here. So again, if you wanted to, you could maybe put on here, um, this is where you might appreciate having your latex gloves if you wanted to. There we go. Whew. So what you are battling with here is these cold chocolate balls are being dipped into warm chocolate. Whew. There we go. Oh, it's so gooey. I mean, it's just chocolate and chocolate, really, isn't it? I mean, from chocolate factory. But you see, I mean, for the cost of the chocolate, really, which is a few quid a bar, you are making your homemade chocolate truffles, which th these are really, really sweet. You couldn't eat 12 in one go. I bet my dad could, <laughs> but that's not a challenge. <laughs> dad, don't rise to that challenge. There we go. Oh look, so it's beginning to set already on the ones that I've done earlier. Literally just, oh, there we go. Let's just take some of that off there. Um, yeah, do you know what I'd have almost be tempted to do? Maybe another handy tip here is actually in between the making this is shove your balls in the freezer. And then that'll make it even more cold. See, these ones that I had on the bottom of the where the ice was, they've still kept their shapes really, really nicely. Now oh, I've got a paddy dog who's waking up, who's just down by my feet. Mm. He can see, he can hear me saying I've made a mess, and what he's done is he's, he's come down to have a look. There we go. Oh, that one's a bit of a strange shape. Yeah, the ones that are definitely set are definitely keeping their shape now. There we go. I'm probably covering up there. So you probably can't see what I'm doing, which is no bad thing. Right. There we go. Lovely. Any other questions while we're online? So yeah, so we've got the December deal on at the moment. Um, brilliant. I think I'm going to have to get myself one of those Christmas aprons from Boardworks though. They're lovely. Nice bright red, very festive looking. So, um, and also for the existing customers, and if you're signed up to the newsletter, you would have seen that there were the, the 12 days of Christmas offer. Now I don't know if they're finished or I don't know actually if they're still available. You can get all 12 offers. Um, so they were discounts on things like the uh, another mixing bowl with a free blade cover. What else is there? There was the Christmas teddy bear, Toby the bear, um, the Christmas apron, Christmas mugs, the Christmas book. And also, for those that are existing customers, Lindsay on the Thermomix Wiz, she has actually got the 12 Days of Advent competition on Thermomix Wiz. If you post your uh, what you're making up to the run up to Christmas and you tag it on, put it on your side and tag in Thermomix Wiz and then made in my Thermi, uh, at the end of the 12 days, there will be a competition winner found to win the Ben Roasting Tin, which is at Estonia, which is absolutely lovely. I've got one of those. Right, my last ball. This is about the most, me what I wouldn't have realised. Well, it, kids would love to do this, but be prepared that you'll end up with a mess. Right, there we go. Sorry. Mm. 
Mm-mm-mm. So that's not one. Let me try it then. Mm. Can you see? It's be they're beginning to set and go shiny. Right, press next. So that's saying leave for five minutes. And then the final stage, it's saying roll each chocolate coated ball in the reserved cocoa powder and place back onto the prepared baking tin. So there you go. What I'll, I think I'll do, I'll risk doing one. Oh no, look at that. Look at that. There we go. It's a misshapen cocoa ball. Now I probably wouldn't advise you to do this too soon normally, but as I'm live, I'm just going to give it a go. If, it, if your chocolate isn't quite ready or set, don't do it too soon, otherwise it's just going to attach too much of the cocoa powder. Again, at this stage, what you can do is you can um, maybe put some nuts in here. So again, pistachio nuts, um, oh, or actually grind up pistachio nuts and cram dried cranberries. That would be a nice thing. Just let me, what, I'm, what I am doing, look, is I'm, where I've probably got a little bit too much chocolate, I'm just, I mean, look at that. So look, just before, let me show you this bit. It's a bit messy, but those five, see those five there that I've done? That's probably 3 99 from Butler's Chocolates. And you've made it yourself with love <laughs> in your own kitchen. Anybody would love those treats, wouldn't they? There we go, look. It's actually working. I, uh, do you know what? I'm really surprised that this is quite not as messy as I could have been knowing me. You know, not all of you know, I'm not a baker. I don't, uh, I, I'm, no, I'm not a professional. I don't profess to be able to bake and sweet things have never been my forte. I love savoury cooking and I love making meals. But yeah, I've never really been big on sweets. But with, since I've had the Thermomix, it's made it so much more easier to um, do this. Because of course I've got a guided recipe that tells me exactly what to do when and I don't have to second guess it. Obviously the more confident you become, uh, or the more confident you are, you'll know how to enhance your own recipes or take shortcuts or handy tips. A bit like what I was saying about working with the chocolate on ice if you have it as cold as possible there we go oh my goodness i can't believe it i can't believe i've made homemade truffles i better say that quietly otherwise i'm gonna have the little elephants all down here aren't they there we go just let me um, rinse my hands so i can then try to set these nicely to you I have got chocolatey fingers. Where are we? We're coming up to half past now, so I'm going to end it in a minute. I'm just going to present a few to you. There we go. To show you how easy, obviously I made it a little bit quicker by preparing some earlier, but here we go, look. I mean, do you know what I'm even tempted to do? Is I could put some glitter over these, look. And ta-da! Homemade chocolate truffles. How about that? How fantastic is that? Brilliant. Um, I'm not going to try them on air because I know at that point I think I'll end up just mm, 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 I'm not being able to eat anything. But again, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for those who are going to watch this back later. It'll be on YouTube. So if you're watching in YouTube, please like, share and subscribe. It does help my channel. Um, hopefully next week when I finish with all my demos, um, I will load up a lot of the videos and do some more pages on my blog. What do you think, Christine? Do you think we'll meet up later for a dog walk? <laughs> oh, it's the fight against the bulge in the run-up to Christmas, isn't it? We may as well give it. So, thank you very much for joining. See you all very soon. Stay safe. Oh, yeah, don't forget Wednesday evening is the spiked hot chocolate. Um, which literally is five minutes um, in here. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all soon. Take care, everybody. Thanks for joining. Bye.